<laughs> Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for a brand new episode of An Author Blocks, and we are up this end of the town near to where we finished off the last episode, where we made Forge, his lovely garden with some pine trees and all that sort of thing. But anyway, I've been um, told that these buildings actually are something. So this is Community Resource Center. So we've got some furnaces, enchanted books, and not a lot else, <laughs> unless they're over here. Oh, a bit of food. Um, don't need to buy the chicken. Yeah, I'll take a take a stack of chicken. Um, but anyway, yeah, these buildings. This one here is the crash report, which I am assuming is not finished because of that, but it looks to be some sort of newspaper. Thing. I'm not really caught up on this and this here is the SMPDX postal office so apparently I have got post so I'm gonna come and have a look I see everyone's got their heads up on the wall haha -ha, no one has got my head yet I like how the Tobies also have their own little like section here whereas everyone else is on on a wall and me and Toby are just set back in our own little bit here but yeah everyone else's heads up here apart from mine so that's good no one's got my head yet. So we, what do we have? We've got a diamond. It's pretty nice. Potion shop coming soon. And bookshop is now open. Well, I know about those two things. The potion shop and the bookshop. Because if we go... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> um, it looks like our teacup has been given a flying saucer. <laughs> what has happened here? Oh, that's amazing. I'm assuming Forge has done that. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that's so good. Oh, right. We haven't had any sales, I'm assuming. Uh, so Forge must have... Okay. Forge must have moved the shot. The fact he moved the cow up here is incredible. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, this is so good. Also, the view from up here is so good. Oh. Okay, I see something's happened to my bell tower. Loon did warn me to record when I got on over to my area, but... He's, has he changed the signs? No. Yes, tears. Oh, no, go away. Gambling is bad. We're going to ignore those signs. Um, we're just going to remove those signs. Maybe put them back when Fluff gets back and put some other stuff. But I'm liking how the shop is at the... <laughs> this is... Oh, at least that still says T. But oh my god, that's amazing that it's on a flying saucer now. But also, does that mean the Prismarine Palace is reopened? It's also a security bee. Oh gosh. Um. Yeah, no, we're not going to... No, we're not going to gamble. But anyway, let's let's check the coal mole for one. See if we've got any sales. Oh my lord, we have. Okay, nine diamonds worth of coal has been bought. Okay, that's brilliant. We're we're in the money. Anyway, let's go and see what Loon has done to my bell tower, because he says he's done something. Do they just? So there was a daylight sensor. So I'm assuming when it goes from day to night, they just ding. Is that right? Because if that if so, that'd be amazing that every so often they just ding. Oh my god, they dinged! That's amazing. So they just do that periodically through the day as the time changes. Because if so, that is incredible. Anyway, in today's episode, we are going to be starting off by working in the underground shopping district. I haven't shown this on a video yet, uh, because it was only completed recently, so let's jump on down here. There are already a few shops down here. Um, this, I believe, was built by Mighty High, and then the shops inside were built by all of the different unauthor blocks. Like over here, these are both Tobyson's shops, and then over here, I believe... These are some of Mighty's shops, I think. 
Round about the place, though, there's another bookshop here. And another rocket shop. Do you reckon this one's cheaper? One diamond for 32 of slight duration three, one diamond for two stacks of two, and one diamond for three stacks of three. Okay, so these are actually cheaper than the other rocket shops, so I'll have to remember that in future. But anyway, we are going to be working down here and building our shop. And the shop we're going to be building is going to be selling some of the blocks that go a bit unnoticed in the game, apart from one of them. So we're going to be selling right, night, and a site, or and the site. Is the shop the shop name is going to be basically three different shops, very a little bit similar to these little shops Toby's built over here. But we're going to build them over in the green area over here, and we're going to have right night site. So we're just going to have the three different diorite and a site granite, all three right night site, three shop fronts, all identical, each one selling a different material. So I am going to basically come up with a design for one of them, lay out uh, how big each shop's going to be, uh, work out how long this is across. It looks like it's an even width across, so we can have one in there, one in there. Actually, no, I will work it out. We'll see how, how far across each shop should be to make them even. Start work and get going. The best thing about building these shops is we don't actually have to go very far to get the materials. As you can see, we're just mining out the materials that we need for the shops, which is really good. So hopefully, I won't actually have to make a trip back to my base, and I'll just be able to build the shops out of the materials I mine out the wall. Shops done. Shops done. We have finished all three of the shops. I don't know whether to count them as three different shops or just one shop, but yeah, we've stocked them all up as well, so we've got... Uh, diorite and polished diorite, granite and polished granite, and andesite and polished andesite, which we really don't have very much of, um, but that's because it is a very popular building material, especially over in my area, so I really don't have much andesite. Um, so at some point when I have a lot of time to waste, I'm going to um stock up that shop by using these two shock boxes to fill up with andesite but yeah the shops are open for business i shall alert the other unorthodox blocks to this and i shall uh hopefully make some profits we've got nano over here now working on the interior that he wanted to do hello i'm working on the interior correct um but we're not actually going to be collabing with nano this this episode sorry nano you, you can just work away there but today we're going to try and scout a location for our main base because I'm still like not sure what I want to do for a main base. But I feel like once I've got a location down, making a main base will be a lot nicer once the terrain like speaks to me sort of thing. And yeah, I'm, I don't know what really to do. So I'm flying about and trying to find... A place for a main base that is cool but isn't too close and also isn't too far away I think we found the spot guys um, we got this big sunflower plains out the front here and I surrounded by mountains and stuff and it's, it's quite far away from everyone and I'm thinking about this mountain here as being my mountain I've got a plan so the plains down here this can be like farmland and stuff then up here atop this mountain I'm thinking what we do is we terraform uh, these all these three things together and make one big flat topped bit and we build a castle up here and then we have a road that goes up the back and in the castle around the back and then from the front here where all the farmland's going to be down here it's just going to look absolutely magnificent having big castle walls up there I might terraform to like that level there and then bring it down a bit because I think that would look the best is if we got it just below the snow line would be awesome. So I think that's probably a good plan to try and start laying out some foundations for this base. But I think this could end up looking really cool um, if we have this whole area's farmland down here with a big ass castle at the top there. So that that's that's a plan. I'm gonna gonna lay this claim as I didn't bring anything, but I'm gonna screenshot the coordinates, lay this claim as my place, and I'm gonna start 
uh, figuring out what I'm actually going to do. We've made some progress over here with the terraforming. Um, definitely going to have to light that up, but I've taken the top off this mountain. Plan to do the same with that one as well. Although, do I? I don't know. I might carry this over to there and terraform them up to be a taller peak. Mm, no, I think I will take that down and build a tower on it. I, I don't know. We'll see. And then over here we need to terraform this across as well. Because then we can have castle wall coming from there all the way around to the edge where we'll have a big tower and along we'll just yeah basically make some walls and then build the interior up here but let's take a look at how this looks and yeah it's looking pretty good the stone and dirt there may need a bit of work and of course the grass needs to spread but it's looking good i'm happy with how that's turning out so once there's a big castle up there it's going to look really cool hopefully and one thing i did want to mention over here is there was a river that I've cut off. This is temporarily cut off. I plan... Okay, thanks, Rem. And then um, I plan to open this back up into a cave and have a sort of miniature underground port in the space behind it, because as you can see, if we go behind, the river's still here. So, like, bring this out, build an underground, like, cave port, which could be really cool, that is directly the cellar of the castle. But, yeah, that's pretty much where we stand. I'm going to keep working on this. So it's the next day now, and I can't exactly remember where I left off, but I have been working over here pretty tirelessly, trying to get this area prepared for my main base project, and it is looking pretty prepared. So if you didn't know already, all of this is pretty much terraformed, aside from that stone area and that stone area. As you can see, they were originally smaller mountains and my sounds are off I don't want to turn music up let's put that on 15 as usual there we go and also if you look we got shaders back so we're back to the beautifulness of our videos but if we turn around all of this mountain has now been terraformed up and it is now ready for my castle project to go on it and that is something I didn't think I'd be saying anytime soon on this server building a castle because, yeah, it's going to be really cool, hopefully. And I don't really know how it's going to work, what's going to happen. We're just sort of going to make it up as we go along. We may, like, delve deep into down into this area, make this castle just huge. I don't know. I really don't know what's going to happen with it. But it's going to, hopefully, be a really cool project to do. And... Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave it with this project for today's episode. As you can see, we've still got a little bit of time left. And that is because I want to fly over to the town area and find the interior that Nano built for me. And have a look at how it looks. And have a look at the finished town with the shaders on. So I will jet over there with my last three ro rockets. I may have to make a stop to get my ender chest. But when I get over there, I'll be back with you and we can see what Nano's been doing. And we've made it back. We are back at the area. As you can see, I did stop off and get some more rockets from the rocket shop. But yeah, this place is finished, technically. We just need the armor stands in place. So again, if any of the unorthodox blocks want to jump in and do that, I will pay a diamond per posed armor stand. But anyway, Nano did this interior here. So we will go and have a look at what he's done. And I can already see he's added in this trap door here which is quite cool actually and he's done a really really nice job in here oh there's a <laughs> there's a little cupboard storage area there i'm assuming like a pantry sort of thing you see snow layers as a carpet painting paintings are something i've lacked in a lot of these builds but yeah he's got an armor stand flower pots nice fireplace with another chimney did he add the chimney up top as well i'll definitely go and have a look what's this down here a hole. Maybe Nano actually hasn't finished this interior. Hmm. Right, well, we'll have to figure that one out. But, yeah, this goes up to this balcony area uh, with some bookcases. This is actually really nice. And then an entrance, obviously, over here into the mayor's office. So, that's really nice. I'm very impressed, Nano. Very, very impressed. Thank you so much for doing that. That means now that this town is actually done. And I want to see if he's actually put a chimney up the top of this house. He has indeed. So now there's two chimneys. Oh, that's cool. I actually quite like that. I'm going to leave that. 
so that is that is this town done apart from the armor stands and I'm telling you with the shaders this place looks amazing especially the now this area finished and I forgot the bell stings loon thank you so much for that it's incredible but yeah anyway this is this is lovely I'm very happy with this town I'm so glad it's finished and I can't wait to move on to new things in the game with my new base. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Unauthor Blocks. I've been Toby. Make sure you check out everyone else in the description of Unauthor Blocks. And please don't forget to comment down below. I always love responding to your comments and I try and reply to every single one. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.